Good morning and welcome to WLOX News Now here at Midday. I'm Jamie Doris. If you don't know him already, I mean, you've been under a rock somewhere. I mean, I think yeah. he has more followers than the entire population of the state of Mississippi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, do I know everybody is is battening down the hatches and keeping a close eye on what's going on right now. What exactly is frozen, frozen custard? custard? This is an embarrassing interview. <laughs> And it's hard to believe, but today marks 19 years since Hurricane Katrina slammed ashore here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Well, it's time to look at some of your top stories this morning. Democratic governors met with President Biden last night. Yesterday marks 60 years yeah. since the Civil Rights Act of 1964 was signed into law. I don't know who's the best the one. <laughs> That's you, Rebecca. Speaking of rock and rolling, I was rocking and rolling in the car this morning uh -oh. trying to get here. Yeah. I mean, the water on the road, the rain coming in at an angle. Oh. There were times where I could barely even see. Watch, this is the best part. I'm plugging in my information. There you go. Uh oh, super computer. Look out. Yeah, can you imagine if it's like running at you? <laughs> yeah, no, no, thank you. You know what I was just thinking? Deep freedom. Yep. Uh huh. Deep freedom. Deep freedom. All right, Sweet Wesley, freedom. take it away. <laughs> Good morning, South Mississippi. If you take a step outside right now, I double dog dare you. It actually feels kind of nice. Come check this. This is for all of you Platinum Bays. How I put on my IFB and mic. Hey y'all, let's check out some of my favorite looks over the last check little this. while. Your weekend forecast, and we've got down. summer, summer, summer time. <laughs> Breaking overnight, a pedestrian hit and killed on Highway 90 in Gulfport. Now that's according to the Harrison County Coroner. This is video from the scene near Jones Park, right across from the aquarium. Details are limited at this time, but the wreck did block off traffic in both directions at one point. We're going to keep you updated as new information becomes available. As we get deeper and deeper into hurricane season, coast officials are keeping an eye out on the water. At Biloxi's port, those watches are being led by their new director, Bill Snyder introduces us to the woman now in charge. We saw some severe storms pass through our area overnight. It was all part of that system that also hit Texas. Wind and rain slammed the state for the second time this month. At least four people have been killed. More than 8,000 still without power. Houston was especially hit hard. Dave Malkoff has more. Let's go ahead and talk about some power outages. We have a lot of people without power right now. Uh, based on the information that's currently being reported from poweroutage.us, that is a, like a culmination of all of the power utility companies' information, we've got 390,000 folks in Louisiana without power, and here in Mississippi, 64,000 people. Of course, that's statewide. Here on the coast, let's look at some of these numbers. What's so surreal about this, it's very much like Katrina. I mean, it's like their banks are gone. Grocery stores are gone. Some residents are saying uh, they're estimating more than 50% of the homes are gone. I do think the school is still intact, but so much is just simply gone. How to pick out a watermelon. Of course, everybody has their ideas. I asked my husband, he said, you always look for the dry stem. Okay. Uh, Micah is the one who actually bought this watermelon yesterday. And I, he told Great me he, he consulted TikTok and that a watermelon picker outer person from TikTok said that you want to get one that is actually heavier than it looks. Okay. okay. So I, I, I won't challenge y'all to pick that up because it's pretty darn heavy. Yeah. Thank you so much for muddling through this newscast <laughs> with us. We are doing our very best to provide you the latest information on this IT outage, as well as the latest information on our local weather and any other headlines. And uh, we're doing the yeah. best we can. Uh, stay with us. We will have more coming up after the break. Okay, Tan, I love your energy. I love your passion, your enthusiasm, the love. I can feel it right here. And if you put that love in your food, oh, yeah. I know why you have a long line. Tell us about your food. You know, I sell authentic Jamaican food. Jamaican? Uh, yes, I sell. <laughs> my best seller is oxtails. Behind the lens, capturing and archiving the history of the coast, whether it's these beautiful memories that we love to share, like weddings, or even the more sad and surreal memories of like mm -hmm. Katrina. But thank yeah. you for all the work you do, and thank you for all the photographers out there doing this right. type of work. Thank you, Jamie. you, as an author, I mean, it's almost perfectly placed. You live in Oxford. I mean, that's like, to me, I mean, when I think square books, I think Oxford, I think authors. It's like the perfect spot. Did you pick that for that reason? Wrestling, it is a sport that we think of primarily as a guy's sport, but there's one coast teenage girl who is smashing the glass ceiling 
out on the mat. In fact, she's now the very first female wrestler in Mississippi to be committed to a college for wrestling. It's all about the fight in today's In Their Shoes. So I'm going to teach you how to shoot a double leg, okay? A double leg? This already <laughs> sounds lethal, y'all. Shoot okay. a double leg. Okay, so let's I'll do be it. here. I'll drop right here. All right. My head right here. Bite your head. And hands go here. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this is an embarrassing interview. <laughs> Knee, legs, head. <laughs> Doosh! <laughs> How did I do? Oh, you had one thing wrong. Yeah. I mostly wanted to do it because I'd never been in sports, and I just really wanted my dad to be like proud of me about something. Like he wasn't already proud of her. <laughs> so you picked wrestling of all sports. Yeah, it's just a different <sighs> sport. Yeah, you think? Yeah. Hey, y'all, guess where we are today? Come on in. We're over here at One Source over in Ocean Springs, about to introduce you to the man of the hour. His name is Keith Wade. He's a prophetess. That's Basically, right. that's a uh, prosthetic engineer. That's right. And he's about to be putting a prosthetic on my dad. It's a very special day for me and a very special day for him. Yeah, we've been waiting a long time for this. We have. So you're going to yeah. show us the whole process, yeah. and I guess I'm going to help out a little bit too. Come on, we're going to show you how to make legs. All right. <laughs> Basically, what we're going to do is, is take a picture of his leg and we're going to send it back to what we call a carver and it's going to carve it out on a foam blank. We're going to pull a piece of plastic over and we're going to do a check socket. That's the first step. You ready? All right, BK blank going in. Ooh, well, already messing up. Oh, sorry, Dad. How did you decide that you wanted to be a prophetess? Well, it was kind of trial and error. We um, started out doing full-line DME stuff, with hospital beds, wheelchairs, things like that, and there was a need here on the coast. We just went and took the test, and, and that's what we did. Step number two. Here we go. In the oven. Well, the time is now 6.33 on your Friday morning. Let's turn now to Wesley for a look at your weekend forecast. And we've got summer, summer, summer time. <laughs> yeah. Basically, time to sit back and unwind. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Listen, I am good at that. I play for keeps. So look. It could fracture our relationship. It might. I play for blood. Yeah. I'm going to go. I play defense. You know, oh, do you? Oh, yeah. you're the oh, you're the defense yeah. person. Mm, mm. Yeah, defense wins championships. Jamie, is this the deep this July Fourth? The deep oh, independence, it's the deep grawl, right? <laughs> I don't know. Right? Okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. Like Mardi Gras, like when you get really close, it's deep grawl. Yeah. yeah. So then we have to come up with a little clever way yeah. of, of a little moniker for that. Deep freedom. Deep freedom. Mm. We're in the deep freedom right deep now, y'all. Deep freedom. <laughs> this was kind of fun. This was. I got to sit great. back and just, you know, marinate cool. in it. It was really, whatever that is. Really fun for me because I hey, won. Good ah, job. Ah, good job. Hey, ah, come on, come on. You did good. I was trying to help you out. No. Don't leave me hanging. Oh wow. <laughs> come on, just sore loser. <laughs> sore loser. Oh my god. <laughs> This is for all of you Platinum Bays. How I put on my IFB and mic. Day in the life of a small town morning news anchor. Come check this. Now this comes after some neighbors broke out against the police. Y'all, if there's something I love doing, it is giving station tours. News anchor makeup. How I go from this to this. Hey y'all, let's check out some of my favorite looks over the last little while. Slide to the right. To the right. Slide to the left. To the left. Right foot, left foot, then turn. What time do you get up in the morning? 2.45. Hey. Well, the time is now 6.33 on your Friday morning. Back it up, back it up, and turn to the let's left. Let's go, let's go. Slide to the right. To the right. Slide to the left. To the left. Right foot, left foot, then turn with it. Right foot, left foot, then turn with it.